Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 Beer Pro Series following Rick DiPietro and the Calgary Flames. So, uh, last time we played the Buffalo Sabres, and a nice uh, nice second period flurry from the Flames allowed us to get that win over Buffalo, 4-2. to uh, Mason Raymond getting, picking up two goals in that game. And we got through the trade deadline, and you know, last year with the Islanders, it was kind of... Uh, weird to see that none of the trades being going through as the Islanders were one of the worst teams, but Calgary is one of the worst teams in the NHL this year, and we actually saw that it is possible for a team to make a trade during the trade deadline, so as you guys saw last episode, we saw that Mark Giordano was traded along with a third round pick to the Anaheim Ducks in return for a first round pick from Anaheim this year, and I believe a prospect defenseman. I think his name was Stefan LeBlanc. So we'll have to see. Uh, hopefully, maybe he'll turn out some pretty good. But it's been a while since we actually uh, played a game here with the Flames. Uh, we are 28 40 and 5 going up against uh, the Florida Panthers here, who are the third worst team in the NHL. And Calgary is the second worst team in the NHL. Now, uh, usually we would want to lose this game. But uh, two of the worst teams in the NHL going up against each other tonight. But we still want to see if we can get that win with DiPietro. So we do have 781 points to add in here. I don't think that's going to be enough to add up to any stats. Yes, actually, yes, it is. All right, so let's put some points in here before we start this game. Uh, you know what? Let's get our glove high up a little bit. Okay, so we'll up that up by one. Go to puck control and let's get we can get poke uh, rebound control or recovery let's get our rebound control up i want to control those rebounds a little bit better and let's get our athletic category up let's you know we'll hold off on the athletic category because i don't want to upgrade uh, aggressiveness so we'll save those changes we'll upgrade our glove high and our uh shot recovery our rebound control actually so We'll do that, and we'll get rolling here against the Florida Panthers at home. And as you guys can see, Mark Giordano, no longer the captain. So we traded our captain away. Mark Giordano was the captain of the Flames. And unfortunately, he is no longer here. Mason Raymond now shows up as the uh, player spotlight, I guess, for the teams. So this should be an exciting game to watch. I don't know why NBC is covering this game of all games, but, you know. It's whatever. Calgary and Florida going for, I guess, the 2016 draft. So this isn't McDavid's draft. This is the year after McDavid. I'm not sure who the best player after McDavid is. But here we are in sunny Sunrise, Florida for the Panthers and the Flames. And that beach is beautiful. Would love to be on that right about now, but you know, I'm enjoying this negative degree weather here in, in, in uh, Philadelphia. But the BB&T Center here in Sunrise, Florida, taking on the Panthers. So this would be a very interesting game. I think Luongo is probably a net for the Panthers, I would think. I would think. But Florida's pretty, you know, Florida's decent. They got some good rookies on this team. I'm, a, I'm sure Huberdeau and Barkov are actually pretty decent by this time. Uh, yep, Huberto with 44 points this year only. Not terrible. 15 goals, 29 assists for him. There's Drew Shore as well. And uh, who's that? Dmitry Kulikov, I think. 72? I think so. All right. Uh, Al Montoya is going to get the start for the Panthers this year. 12 and 5. Yes, he has a pretty decent record. I don't know why the goalie stats are going away so quickly. Di, Di Pietro, 6 and 9. 2.01 goals against average. 0.885 save percentage and 3 shutouts on the year for Dippy. And uh, don't know why Al, Monto uh, Al Montoya's stats went away so quickly, but there we go. Montoya not get, uh, Luongo not getting the start here. Montoya gets the start for the Panthers. And here we go. Florida and Calgary, two of the worst teams in the NHL. This should be an interesting game here. All right. Let's get it rolling. Sean Monahan takes the puck off the wing and will dump it around the back here. And Alex Petrovic gives it up to Jonathan Huberto. Over to Fleischman, back to Petrovic. Over to Alexander Barkov. Barkov, uh, cross crease attempt there. Nice interception though by Chris Russell, who is on the, I think he's on the first line power, uh, the first line defensive core now with Weidman, which is uh, good for him. Good for him. All right, Huberdo got stick lifted, still keeps control of it. Tries to go for a toe drag, intercepted by Russell, and gets it back up to Monahan, who will take a shot. The glove save though by Montoya. Dish it out though for Fleischman, turned over by Goudreau, and Goudreau looking for 
Uh, I think Mason Raymond, but he missed him. And Chris Russell will take it over to Goudreau. Up the middle to Raymond. Mason Raymond does make an unnecessary cut at the blue line, and he will go offsides. All right, so Florida in their last 10, they are 5-5. Five and five. All right, Boland, Colby, Robach getting the uh, playing defense now for, for Florida. Barchi intercepts it, though, from Brad Boyce. Barchi around the back, uh, tries to make a cut in front. Rebound, there you go. Drive the hard to the net. Sven Barchi puts a blow backhand shot on Al Montoya. Rebound right to David Jones, and he will put that puck into the net. Goal there, David Jones assisted from Sven Barchi. The real Sykes' favorite player, putting up the first goal in this game. Nice re nice uh, little play there by Barchi to work the corner, go right in front there, rebound on Mon by Montoya right to David Jones. Puts that in, one to nothing lead for the Calgary Flames here in the first period. So, uh, Uyghur, Uyghur, man, some weird names for Florida. You know, Florida's a bad team here, so it makes sense why they're playing these uh, probably a lot of rookies. All right, Weidman uh, back to Russell. Takes a shot. Blocked in front, though, by uh, Florida defenseman Jimmy Hayes. Uh, Racine, that's who blocked it. All right, over to Dave Boland. Boland with a toe drag around the back of the net. That's going to be for DiPietro. Just kidding. Oh, run into there by uh, some person on Florida. All right, Marcus Granlin up to Barchi. Barchi toe drags are up around one. Low shot saved by Montoya. Barchi rebound. Sent it right in front. There was nobody there, but couldn't control it. Jimmy Hayes now. Jimmy Hayes, Jimmy Hayes, uh, back to Uyghur, Boland, oh man, that was a weird shot, I did not expect uh, a backhanded floater like that, or a pass, Russell taken off by Boland again, back to Brad Boys. oh my god, I got run into the net there, you know what, step up for that fight, David Jones, step up for that fight on Kopecky, and I'm going to step up for it, nah, they're going to be a roughing call, I guess, yep, a roughing call, two minutes each for roughing, I got killed there on that hit. David Jones scores a goal and, uh, you know, takes a fight. Well, actually, he doesn't take a fight. He takes a roughing call. But, you know, almost got a Gordy Hal hat trick, I guess. Uh, oh, man, Johnny Goudreau split the D there with the toe drag. Got by Dylan Olsen and uh, Alex Petrovic, but couldn't control it there. All right, here's uh, UC Jokinen. UC Jokinen. Uh, oh, cross crease attempt, though, but broken up by Schmid. And they're back out of the box already. David Jones gets hit by Olsen, taking off the puck. Olsen over to Petrovic, up to Dave Boland. They bowling with a toe drag, but a hit by Laddish Lav Schmied. There you go. Schmied up to Halice Chuck. Halice Chuck across the blue line. Toe drags around. Stajan stops up. Back to Halice Chuck. Low shot there, but saved by Montoya. Backland. Backland around the back of the net. Around for Stajan. Wrapped it around back for the dollar defenseman into the corner. Don't know why who did that. Bobby Butler, I think. Uh, Quentin Halden. Quentin Halden. Howden around the back, around the front for Bobby Butler, and glove save though by Di Pietro through the net. A little bit of a glitchy goal, glitchy save there, but I'll take it. Halas Chuck, nice pass up to Stajan. Stajan will wrap it around off the boards in the back of the net. Petrovic will take it. Petrovic uh, over for Olsen, taken off by Halas Chuck. Halas Chuck, pass to Stajan, blocker save though by Montoya, gets over to block that cross crease. And Olsen gives that puck back up to Bobby Butler. I haven't seen that guy in forever. All right, Huberto, toe drag, and that'll do it for the first period. All right, so some weird names. Weird names I've seen here from Florida. I've, I've, I'm only very familiar with these names from seeing like a lot of GMO commentaries and stuff like that. I'm pretty familiar with the first names with these guys. But Calgary does get that one goal there from a nice, pretty good play there from Spen Barchi to, you know, to... Drive the net hard, rebound shot, David Jones right there for the rebound, past Montoya. And we got a 1-0 lead after the first 6-2 of the shots. Calgary definitely in control of this game. On Florida to start, 6-2 of the shots, 3-1 on the faceoffs. So, second period underway here in uh, BB&T Center. Got that one goal lead. 1-0 lead for Calgary. Now, Florida wants to lose this game, too. You know, they want to get into that uh, top spot for that draft pick as well. But I want to get that win. Oh, Sean Monahan, there you go. Delayed penalty, I think, on Chris Russell for a hit. Yeah, Chris Russell got injured. But you know what? The first line comes together once again. Another nice pass there, passing play. And Sean Monahan from Chris Russell and Mason Raymond. Nice play there. Mason Ray gives it right to Russell. Takes the hit. 
Makes the play to take a hit. Chris Russell actually got hurt on that play. He went to the bench. Hopefully he's uh, not out for the game. But another nice little cross crease pass. And Sean Monahan just rips that glove side on Al Montoya. Very early goal here in the second period as the Flames will take a 2-0 lead on the Panthers. Sean Monahan gets that goal again from Chris Russell and Mason Raymond. All right, so a two-goal lead now for the Panther, uh, for the Flames, not for the Panthers. All right, boys for Bugstad. Jesus Christ, Bugstad is huge, dude. Kulikov back to Robach. Whoa, whoa! Did not expect that uh, play there. Not, did not expect that shot. But we did make a blocker save on it. Uh, okay, and they do get it up. Monahan. So Monahan right up the middle, uh, collapsing, uh, back to the point. Russell over to Goudreau. Oh, man, quick shot by Johnny Goudreau. Big save there from Montoya. Raymond up to Monahan. Shot. Oh, Johnny Goudreau was not quite there for the rebound. Rebound was definitely there for him, though. Colby Roback over to Nick Bukestad, over to Brad Boys. And Boys will take it up the blue line. Boys into the corner. Boys back for the defenseman. Kulikov, Bukestad blocked away, though, by defenseman. And Russell, yep, Russell's fine. Took that little bit of a bump, but he's uh, looking good. And, you know, they will go off sides there, but dumps it in. Let's play Dimitri Kulikov around the back of the net. Huberto over to Fleischman. So it looks like Brian Campbell's probably retired from Florida here that they traded him. Ooh, Jonathan Huberto with a quick shot there. Don't know if that went off the post or not. Uh, around the back of the net. Ooh, man, Barkov's sitting right there for it. Huberto back to the point to Petrovic. Dylan Olsen takes a shot. Whoa, rising shot. Ooh, Barkov tried to get a rebound. Barkov. Oh, Fleischman. Ooh, wider than that. Don't like this threat that Florida is throwing on me right now. Olsen takes a shot. Blocked away, though, by Calgary. Huberto over to Barkov. Whoa, geez. Spread eagle. Yeah, I knew it was coming eventually. It was coming eventually. Florida was just all over Calgary right there. They were just, like, shooting pucks. They were just doing circles on me. Alexander Barkov gets that goal from Thomas Fleischman and Jonathan Huberto. Out in front, yeah, I did that spread eagle. Because Fleischman did not get all of that shot, and it just kind of trickled right to Barkov coming over from the corner there. We almost actually did make that save, but I got locked into the spread eagle, and I couldn't really recover from that. So, nothing you really can do there. There, Nothing really you can do there. Alexander Barkov will get that goal. Fleischman and Huberto with the assists. Florida cuts the lead to 2-1. to one. All right, don't worry about it. We still got a two-goal lead. All right, Jimmy Hayes tries to make a pass back to the point, but that will go all the way back. Colburn on Petrovic here. Takes him to the boards. Uh, Olsen. Petrovic still has control of it. Bowling up to Hayes. Hayes over to Kopecki. Thomas Kopecki. And over to Boland. Boland around the back of the net. Cross crease again. Wotherspoon, though, there to block it off. Up to Colburn. Joe Colburn over to the wing and uh, cross crease out in front again bouncing puck Staging takes control back back to Wotherspoon and Wotherspoon turns it over to Bolin Petrovic up to Hayes again All right, Here's Jimmy Hayes uh, over to Bolin Bolin cuts poke check from the back though by Mason Raymond nice back check on him and Colburn looking to get off the ice here might dump it in uh, No fakes out uh, right in front there, up rebound, up uh, Racing Raymond. Uh, a couple of shots there on Montoya, but he will dish it back out to Racine. Uh, Boland over to Howden. Right, Quentin Howden. Looks like a speedy skater he is, but he will go off sides. He'll go off sides. 3.07 left in the second. Right, Drew Shore wins that. Kulikov uh, tried to dump it in. A uh, little bit of a breakdown there, up by the blue line, though. Monahan take it to the boards though. Bobby Butler. Butler back to Robach. Back to Butler again. Takes a shot. Riser over the net. Russell. Nice pass to Goudreau. Uh, no penalty on that play. It looked like a boarding call, but they'll wrap it around the back of the net. Uh, it goes offside. Never mind. Looked like a boarding call or checking from behind at least back there, but Granlin wins the faceoff. She need over to Jones. Jones tried to hit Granlin, but he missed him. And Fleischman takes it into the zone now. Fleischman over to Kulikov, back to Huberto. Checked off the puck, though, by Jones. Nice play. And he'll get it back with four seconds left. Nice long pass over to Barchi. Up, toe drags around. Ah, oh, man. Sven Barchi probably had a little bit more time, you know, to skate up, maybe do a deke on Montoya, but he just opts to take the quick shot there. And that'll do it for the second period here. So uh, Florida gets one. Calgary gets one. And we still sit at a one-goal game here. 
with Calgary leading 2-1. to one. So after that second period, 12-5 to five are the shots in favor of Calgary. Time and attack, definitely in Florida's favor after that huge like uh, cycle that they had going on me in that second period. But we do have that one goal lead. Not many shots taken on us in this game once again. Calgary's defense is doing a good job blocking shots at the very least. It's like that Rangers game, man. Not many shots taken on us in this game. All right, so Monaghan wins the faceoff. Third period underway. Raymond uh, gets checked off by Petrovic. Petrovic over to Olsen. Huberto poke checked it off, but still gets it up to Barkov. Long pass into the corner for Fleischman. Fleischman, ooh, wide shot there out in front for Barkov. Missed. And he will not miss that one, though. Too late to react. Too late to react to that one as Barkov gets his second of the game. I'm not even going to watch the replay because I know it was too. Huberdeau and Fleischman get the assists again. Two points for each of those guys. First line for Florida doing work here as they tie the game up at two. All right, UC Jokinen over to Bukestad. Bukestad back to boys. Toe drags, takes a shot, rebound to just cover that. You know, I should have went out there and tried to cover that, but Weidman does a good job and clears it out. Ugh, shaky here in the third. Shaky third. Uh, Goudreau tried to keep it on sides, but it goes off. All right, early goal there for Alexander Barkov. Really, pretty much it's only the first line for Florida doing anything in this game. Nobody else can seem to get any sort of offense wrapped around here. Oh, man, there you go. That was a weird goal there. Chris Russell, you know, he gets hit early on in this game and looked like he might have been out, but he comes back after that injury. Takes a shot on Montoya. It just takes a weird bounce, and that goes in. Barchi and Granlin will get the uh, assists on this. Chris Russell just takes the shot. Yeah, you know what? Al Montoya, I think, might have knocked it in himself off of his own stick. It takes a weird bounce. And, uh, you know, that's a great replay there by EA Sports, but whatever. Chris Russell gets that goal. Nice play. Just takes a shot on that. You know what? Barchi gets his second point of the game. Granlin with the uh, secondary assists. Aaron Calgary takes the lead back 3-2. to two. All right, Barchi and uh, Petrovic will take that off him, though, up to Hayes. Got that one goal lead again. Let's go. All right, Granlin takes it off him. Nice play there by Calgary. Uh, might be a little bit of a hit there. No call. All right, David Jones over the line. Uh, tries to make a deke on uh, Olsen, but he will take the puck back. Back up to Hayes. Jimmy Hayes, drop pass, missed them though. Uh, turned over Granlin. Nice play by Wideman. Takes a hit. Barchi hit off by Petrovic. Petrovic laying the body down this game. Bowling toe drags, get by Olsen, that's a, a hit on Di Pietro, I'm stuck in the animation. And Boland, oh, we just get a tip on that. Kopecky and glove save there by Di Pietro, I'm going to hold on that. Ten minutes still left to go here in the third period. Florida once again threatening in that period, but two very nice saves there by Di Pietro on Florida. As Florida has had its chances in this game, you know, they've missed the net a lot. Have missed the net a lot in this game. Been getting lucky. They've thrown the they've thrown shots over the net, missed the net wide. But Di Pietro has uh, stayed pretty good, sta stable in this game. Alright, the first line is out, so we want to get this uh, puck out quick and get it into their zone. All right, Raymond, that's you. You're the speeder. There you go. Over to Goudreau. Goudreau's pretty quick, too. Uh, going wide. Uh, nice play there by Goudreau. Dishes it out to Raymond, but a nice save there by Montoya. Robok up to Kulikov. Kulikov over to Barkov. Kulikov and Barkov. B names. Barkov takes a shot. Blocker save, though, by Di Pietro. Fleischman gets it back. Fleischman out in front of Barkov. Wow. Did, did Huberto tip that? If Jonathan Huberto tipped that, that is amazing. That is an amazing tip of Jonathan Huberto. Knock that down and tip that in. Wow. Barkov and Fleischman. All the entire first line of the Florida Panthers has three points this game. Wow, he tipped that. How is that not high sticking? Holy shit. What a tip by Bar what a tip by Jonathan Huberto. Holy shit. I need to go into the replay for that. That is that is crazy. What a tip, dude. All right, Fleischman, yeah, he dishes it over to Barkov. He takes the shot. Did it get deflected? No, he just goes wide with it. He's going wide. 
uh, you know, I went for the poke check out of midair, and that's kind of what happened with it. But you know what? There was no way I was stopping that. There's no way you could, like, tip that shot out of midair. Jesus, man. That's hand-eye there from Jonathan Huberto. So there you go. The entire first line of the Florida Panthers has three points. Barkov with two goals. Fleischman with three assists. Jonathan Huberto with a goal and two assists. Crazy. Jokinen, oh my god, Jesus Christ, dude. Ugh, brutal game. Brutal, brutal game. Brad Boys collapsing here in this third period right now. Three goals. Two goals, actually, I should say. Man, brutal period. Brutal, brutal period. That just shows you that this, these are two of the worst teams in the NHL, putting up four goals. Not no defense being played right now. With four minutes still left in this game, and they're gonna go offsides. Four seventeen left. Ugh, that was a brutal, brutal, brutal play there, Brad Boys. That he's lucky he got that in. That was a cross crease. I knew it was coming too. We did the dive and everything. Just couldn't make the save. All right, Monahan wins it. Jordy Ben, it's the first time I've seen him touch the puck all game. All right, Johnny Goudreau, let's see if the Flames can tie it up. Absolutely not. Oh, uh, well, he got hit. Got, gets it back. Johnny Goudreau looking for something. Monahan back to Waterspoon. Over to Ben. Jordy Ben takes a shot wide. The net. Goudreau takes it back, though. Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau out in front. Yeah, there you go. Cross crease again. Just work it. Sean Monahan gets that goal. Nice play there. Back around the net from Goudreau. Pass it up to Monahan. And he'll get the goal. Assisted from Johnny Goudreau and Jordy Ben. Jordy Ben gets his uh, gets an assist for the uh, Flames here. Nice play. Another cross crease. Nice rip there from Monahan. Monahan's got a pretty decent shot, I would say as well. No defense being played in this game. Four goals let up by both Montoya and DiPietro in this game. Crazy. Goal scoring bonanza here in this game between Florida and Calgary. Just shows you how bad both these teams are. Monahan gets his second. Johnny Goudreau and Jordy Ben get the assists. 4-4 four four ties. Calgary ties this game back up again. All right, Brody up to Arnold. Bill Arnold. Bill Arnold dishes it out in front, though, but in the first line back out for Florida again, so we want to pay attention here. All right, Petrovic around the back of the net still. Still has control of it. Up to Fleischman. Fleischman up to Huberto. Huberto uh, back to Fleischman. Over to Olsen. Broken down play. Fleischman takes a shot. Glove by DiPietro and will dish it back out to Schmid. 40-some seconds left. Brody gets it up to Arnold. Three on three. Nice long pass to Backland. Up toe drags around them. And uh, Petrovic still holds it. Yoking in over to Boys. 30 seconds here. Let's see if we can hold out. Brad Boys. Uh, it's going to say it's going to be on side. Buse that misses it though. And Schmid picks it up. Bullig. Uh, right up to Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau makes something happen here. Four on one pretty much. Five on one pretty much. Up Goudreau on Olsen. Stay on Johnny Hockey. Keep it in their zone. All right, Petrovic out to Bugstad. Bugstad turns back. Uh, nobody there, though. Raymond, uh, they got eight, seven seconds left. All right, Schmid. Last play here for Calgary. Monahan over the blue line. Two seconds, one. Takes a slap shot. Blocked away, though, by Montoya. And we're going to go to overtime. So Calgary fights back. It's that goal there in the third period to tie it up at four. And luckily, we do... Uh, go to an overtime here in Florida so four to four tie no offense being played in this game whatsoever I mean no defense being played in this game whatsoever goaltenders not doing the not doing a really good job either but Calgary is keeping us in this game our goals against average is probably skyrocketed by the amount of shots yeah 11 shots for Florida 17 for Calgary our goals against average is not good, but, you know, we can still get that win. We can still get that win if we hold out here in overtime. All right, so it's going to be four-on-four four hockey here in overtime. Only our second overtime game I think we've played all year. Overtime records for both teams, 2-1 two for Calgary, 2-2 two two for Florida. And we know how last time we went to a shootout. We got our ass handed to us by the Blue Jackets and Scotty Hartnell actually digging the living hell out of me. All right, oh, that's a penalty. You can't do that. That's a two-minute Two minutes minor for interference on, I think that's Petrovic. Uh, yeah, Petrovic has been laying the body down this whole entire game, and he finally gets, uh, he's going to pay for it here. An interference call on Petrovic, so it's going to be a four-on-three power play for the Calgary Flames here. Shootout records, two and four for Calgary. Florida is undefeated 
in shootouts so far this year. So we want to try to win this in overtime. Weatherspoon back. Oh, you know what? That was a really good play. That was a really good play give and go from Weatherspoon and Raymond. Weatherspoon winded up for that shot, but a nice save there from Al Montoya. Make the glove save on Tyler Weatherspoon. All right, Monahan wins the faceoff again. Weatherspoon. Raymond takes the shot blocked away, though, by Montoya. Out in front of Raymond. Glove save again by Montoya. Calgary threatening here on that power play. That's what I'd like to see. Take shots on net, boys. 15 saves for Montoya. 19 shots on net for four Calgary. Monahan wins the faceoff again. Weatherspoon out to Raymond. Back to Russell. Blocked, though, in front by Olsen. And he will slap shot that all the way down. As Weatherspoon will take control of it, and he'll give it up to Monahan. All right, Sean Monahan over the blue line, into the corner, back out for Russell out in front of Raymond. Man, pad save there by Montoya. Russell would have, oh man, Weatherspoon would have shot tipped in front by Monahan, but it just goes wide. Russell with a clean look. Weatherspoon takes a low shot, saved by Montoya. Good lord. Al Montoya standing on his head here on this power play here in overtime. Calgary threatening, just putting everything on net. All right, Marcus Granlund, uh, Colby Robach, uh, they do get it back, though. Barkov is going to press up here. Now he's going to dump it back around. That's for me. Give that over to Weidman. And they'll give it up to Brody. 20 seconds still left on the power play for Calgary. They got pretty much one last chance here. Uh, dished it out over for Granlund. Back to Weidman. Takes a shot. Oh, it trickles. Oh, man, it hit off of a Florida defenseman. It was trickling. Looked like it might have gone through the five hole of Al Montoya, but he does cover up and makes the save. All right, another big face-off win here. Possibly another chance to maybe get something good there. Show my hand, pushes, Raymond, Raymond, Mason Raymond. All right, power play is over. Weatherspoon back to Russell, takes a shot. Blocker save again by Montoya. Monahan turns back with it. Monahan turns back, cross, oh, cross crease over to Raymond. They took a little bit too long to take the shot and Montoya again. Makes the save, Al Montoya. Seven shots for Calgary so far in this overtime. None for Florida. They're just outplaying them uh, oh, like hell in this overtime, but we can't seem to beat Al Montoya. All right, here comes the two, the three-point nightmares for Barkov. Oh, intercepted by Raymond on that. Oh, he gets around him again. Raymond is going to get hit, though, by Olsen. All right, 2-1-2 two two here. Barkov and Huberto. Huberto, oh, a nice hit there from TJ Brody to knock Huberto off the puck and gives it back up to Raymond. 2-1-2 two two again. Raymond uh, tried to get it by Petrovic, but he couldn't get it by him. Huberto now has the puck. Huberto back to Barkov. Back to Barkov. Tries to take a shot glove save, though, by DiPietro. Gives it back to Schmid. Schmid around the back of the net. Gives it up to Goudreau. All right, three on three now. Goudreau makes a deke at the line. Pat Granlin stops up. Back to Russell. Takes a low shot, though, but blocked away, though, by Montoya. Here we go, UC Jokinen. You see Jokinen take it to the corner, long pass over to Petrovic, and it uh, gets tipped away though. Boland. Boland uh, gets blocked away though. Nice play there. Johnny Goudreau takes it back now. Johnny Goudreau right up the middle. Johnny Goudreau fake shot, uh, tries to get around him. Uh, he does, he still has the puck. Johnny Goudreau looking for something. Back to the point to Schmid. Uh, blocked though, but Granlin still has it. Back to Schmid again. Out in front. Oh, oh man, I think it got tipped by the pass, but Montoya closes the legs. And saves that tipped, almost attempted tip puck by Johnny Goudreau. He was right in front waiting for it. Montoya has been very, very strong in this overtime. Backlund wins the face off. Russell back to Barchi. Backhander shot. Barchi again up. Trickling puck. It's right there. But Montoya again. Glove saves it and covers it up. 23 seconds left. 10 to 1 are the shots here in overtime. It's been all Calgary in this overtime. Backlund wins it again. Shot by Russell, saved by Montoya, and Petrovic will take it. Huberto up to Barkov. Oh, man, he's going to take a penalty, a very late penalty. That's Brussel, a slashing ball on Michael Backlund as Florida is going to go to a four-on-three power play with 15 seconds still left here. Uh, Stajan does win the faceoff. Calgary has done a good job of winning faceoffs here in this overtime, too. Petrovic will take it. He will dump it in, though. They're offsides. They cannot do it here. Jordy Ben does the smart thing, dumps it out, and we're going to go to our second shootout of the year as Al Montoya basically stands on his head in overtime and, and just completely denies Calgary. 28-12 to 12 are the shots. Good Lord, it has been all Calgary this game, especially in overtime. 
surprised that we did not score in overtime at all. But we're going to go to a shootout and let's see if we can redeem ourselves here in the shootout. Florida is undefeated in the shootout. And I got to deal with guys like Barkov and them in the shootout. All right, so here we go. Here we go. First shooter for us is Johnny Goudreau on, on Al Montoya. And he will make the pad save on Johnny Goudreau. Just tries a basic backhand forehand shot. But Goudreau makes the, uh, Montoya makes the save. All right, first shooter for the Florida Panthers is Jonathan Huberto. Uh, flying poke check on Jonathan Huberto. I don't think so, bud. We're gonna it, we're gonna abuse the flying poke check a little bit more this game. He tried for a quick shot, but it was denied by Di Pietro. And Sven Barchi will take the second shot for the Calgary Flames here. All right, Sven Barchi. Here comes Barchi coming down, and go once again tries for a fake, kind of maybe tried to fake out Montoya, but he does go for another backhand forehand shot. Tries to go low, but Montoya makes the save. All right, next shooter for the Florida Panthers is gonna be. Alexander Barkov, do we go for the flying poke check again? And oh, he tries for a low shot, but Di Pietro closes the legs, puts the stick down, and does make the save on Alexander Barkov. All right, looking pretty good here. All right, Mason Raymond, going to take third shot for the Flames here. Would be clutch if Mayray could get a goal here. No goal scored yet, Mason Raymond. Toe drags, oh, tries to get around Montoya, but he does deny Mason Raymond, did that go off the post? Uh, you know what, that did go off the outside of the post and jumps up. All right, so Florida can win the shootout here if UC Jokinen can get a goal here. UC Jokinen tries for another low shot, but Rick DiPietro blocks it away again. They're trying to go low on DiPietro. They know his five hole is not the greatest, but he does block it away. All right, so we're going to our fourth round of shooters here. Sean Monahan now taking the shot for the Calgary Flames. And Sean Monahan backhander lifts it over Al Montoya. Backhander by Sean Monahan Deeks out Al Montoya. And Calgary gets the first goal in the shootout. And we can win it if Rick DiPietro can get the save on the next Panther shooter. So a nice backhander shot there by Sean Monahan on Al Montoya. Beats him glove side. And this comes down to it. Can Rick DiPietro win the shootout here if he can stop Thomas Fleischman? For his shot, here we go, Rick DiPietro and Thomas Fleischman, and oh, he tries to stack the pads, but he does a quick shot on DiPietro, and he does get the goal here. DiPietro, oh man, we almost made the stack the pads save on that, that would have been clutch. If we just could have got a little bit of a tip on it, I tried for the flying poke check, Fleischman takes a quick shot, and he does beat DiPietro. Alright, so we're going to extend the shootout. All right, Marcus Granlin now is going to take the shot here for Calgary. Ugh, we just could have stayed back. We could have got it. All right, Marcus Granlin. He's got some deeks. He's got some deeks. Oh, man. oh, Patrick Kane, Marcus Granlin. Jesus. And he gets denied by Montoya. He does a couple quick shots there, but Montoya stays center to central to him and makes the save here. It's a long video, man, but here comes Brad Boys. All right, let's not, let's not deek anything out here. Oh, another quick shot there. But Brad Boyce takes a quick shot on DiPietro, but he does make the save. They're trying to go five-hole on DiPietro. They're, they're seeing it. It's open. I'm not going to lie. It's open, but they, done, they do make the save. All right, number 15. Who is that? Laddie Schmid. All right, Laddie Schmid. I know he scored before. Tries to go five-hole. Montoya blocked away very easily. Let's skip it. All right, Colby Robach, a defenseman for Florida. And another trying quick shot there, but blocked away, though, by DiPietro. Man, oh, man, this, this shootout is going... Very, very long here. Montoya and DiPietro staying strong here. All right, Matt Stajan now takes a shot here for Calgary. Round number seven in the shootout. Matt Stajan, ugh, man. If he would have went back to the forehand, he might have had him. Might have had him there when he went down, but Montoya makes the save again. All right, and Dave Boland now for the Florida Panthers. Here comes Dave Boland. Uh, oh, oh, um. He had him beat. Dave Boland had him beat, but he just runs out of room. And DiPietro's stick blocks that puck away and prevents Dave Boland from getting the shot off. All right, Dennis Weidman, one of the most veteran Calgary Flames on the team right now. Round eight of the shootout. Dennis Weidman, fake shot, tries to go squeeze it between the blocker and the pads, but unfortunately does not get it through. Montoya with the save again. Man, oh, man, this crazy game here. Nick Bukestad now for the Florida Panthers. Here's Bukestad. Oh, and you know what? 
He had a chance to maybe fake me out for the backhand, but DiPietro still stays with that whole entire play. He goes for the forehand. Bukestad committed to it, and DiPietro blocks him off. And we're going to round 10 of the shootout. Chris Russell now. Good Lord. Round 9, I'm sorry. Round 9 of the shootout. Here comes Chris Russell on Montoya. And oh man, Chris Russell outweights Al Montoya. And he beats him blocker side. Goes all along. Just commits. Goes all the way from right to, uh, from right to left. And he beats him going, going uh, along the ice. Just beats him going right to left. And Chris Russell... Beats Al Montoya, and once again, Calgary can win the shootout here if we can stop Drew Shore. Drew Shore here for the Florida Panthers. Dying poke check. Oh my god, he beats me five hole. He beats me five hole. God damn it. Florida finally beats Rick DiPietro five hole. They tried so many times in the shootout, and they do finally beat him. I was going out to possibly block the shot, but he takes a quick one, and he beats me five hole. And the shootout will continue. Good lord, this game is going on way too long. All right, here's David Jones. Round number 10. And a backhander by David Jones beats Al Montoya. There you go. David Jones outweights Al Montoya. Drags it backhand and then drags it forehand. And then lifts it shoulder on Al Montoya. And once again, we can win this shootout. If we can save a shot, this is our third chance to win the shootout here for Calgary. We can beat this if we save the shot. Come on. Let's do this. All right, who's taking the shot now? Thomas Kopecky takes in the shot here for Florida. And, oh, man, he just rips it. He just rips it glove side. Good Lord, dude. This is the longest shootout in the history of when he, I go down, he shoots it. Thomas Kopecky outweighted Rick DiPietro here. Goes out to face it, and you know what? He beats me glove. Beats me glove. Wow. Round number 11, Mikhail Backlund. Michael Backlund and toe drags, poke checks by Montoya. Blocker and saves that. All right, Dmitry Kulikov now. Or, oh, glove save there by DiPietro. Maybe you could have went to the backhand there. But a quick shot by Dmitry Kulikov. Glove save there by DiPietro. And we're going again to a round number 12. Bill Arnold now, the fourth line center, taking a shot here. Bill Arnold, he's a rookie. He's got some moves, but he runs out of space and runs right in now. Montoya's stick. Good Lord, dude. This is crazy. Montoya makes the save again. Blocks it away. DiPietro yet again looking for something here. Jimmy Hayes now taking the shot for the Panthers. Jimmy Hayes, he takes a quick shot there, trying to go five hole again. But DiPietro closes it off. And once again, <laughs> the shootout continues. The shootout continues. Tyler Wotherspoon going to take a shot for Calgary now. Round 13 of the shootout. Fake shot. Tries to go backhand. Runs into him. Montoya still keeps the puck out of the net even though he runs into him. Keeps that out of the net. All right. Alex Petrovic now for the game. Flames. And he takes another low shot. They are just, they are just abusing. Abusing Rick DiPietro on the five hole. They've seen him get beat once. In this game, and they're just abusing it in the shootout. Round 14, TJ Brody now for the Flames. Up, oh, backhander, up. Oh, he's waiting it out. Oh, he hits the post. TJ Brody does the exact kind of same move that uh, one of our players did earlier, but he outweights Montoya and he hits the post. All right, here's Racine. Racine for the for the Florida Panthers. Racine. Oh, oh, but man, he had it wide open for the backhander, but he did an unnecessary move. He had it wide open for a backhander, but he goes for the glide deke, and he runs right into DiPietro and runs out of room. Round 15 of the shootout. Joe Colburn now for the Flames. Joe Colburn, backhander, lifts it on Al Montoya. What a move there by Joe Colburn on Al Montoya. And yet again, for the fourth time in this shootout, the Calgary Flames have a chance to win the game if Rick DiPietro can make the save. On the Florida Panther. It is still 4-4. Four to four. Good Lord. This is 15 rounds of a shootout. Joe Colburn gets that goal on Al Montoya. All right. Dylan Olsen. Dylan Olsen for the Florida Panthers. 
Dylan Olsen tries for another five-hole shot. Di Pietro blocks it away. The Florida Panthers abused the five-hole shot so far in the shootout. And after a 15-round shootout here in Florida, the Calgary Flames walk away with a 5-4 victory in the shootout after Rick Di Pietro makes the save. Five-hole on Dylan Olsen. And Calgary will walk away surprisingly with the 5 to 4 win after fighting back good lord they Calgary looked like they should have went should have won this game after the craziness that they put up on that power play in overtime they came back scored a goal with like 2 minutes left in the third period after we kind of broke down in that period and after a 15 round shootout Calgary comes away with a 5-4 win. Good Lord. Florida only 12 shots on net for us. We do get a terrible goals against average for this game. But we walk away with the win, surprisingly. Good Lord. Walk away with the win. Three stars of the game. No doubt in my mind, it was uh, the first line for the Florida Panthers. Three points for each of them. Barkov with two goals and an assist. Huberto with a goal and two assists. And Thomas Fleischmann with three assists. Yeah, they were definitely deserving of the three stars. Three points each for the first line of the Florida Panthers. But they could not walk away with a win in the shootout. Jonathan Huberto was the only uh, person to face the flying poke check. And good lord, I think is that is the longest Be a Pro episode to date. 41 minutes because of a 15-round goddamn shootout. But we walk away with a win, surprisingly. Goodness gracious. And the video is still not over yet. It's still not over yet because we have to simulate games. My god. Our save, our, our save percentage obviously went down. It went down to a B. Because that game was crazy. All right, Russell goes out with an injury that game. That's perfectly fine with me. We have to see. And we're going to have to keep continuing the sim here because we are waiting for our, our next game. That was a definition of two of the worst teams in the NHL. All right, so... We get a two wins in a row after beating the Panthers and the Detroit Red Wings. And uh, we're going up against probably one of the better teams in the NHL, the Washington Capitals. Oh, great. Remember what last time we played the Washington Capitals? Alexander Ovechkin was an absolute nutcase and tried to run into me again. So we're get to uh, face Alexander Ovechkin again. And the Washington Capitals are very good this year, 41, 29, and 4. So that is going to be... Next up, we're going to be in Washington, so we're going to be in the Verizon Center. Taking on the Caps, running a two-game win streak with the with the uh, Calgary Flames as well. So, uh, you know, we want to try to get that top overall pick, but you know what? We want to still keep winning games. We want to try to get our uh, win total as close as possible to meeting our goal, and we want to get that save percentage as well to be close to above 90%. So we're going to see if we can do that against the capitals they look like a good team so they might put up a lot of shots so this video is going long enough guys i really hope you did enjoy that that was definitely one of the most exciting games uh that we have played so far this year and i uh, hope you enjoyed so if you did leave a like leave a comment subscribe as always I'm gonna end this video now it's gonna take a long time to edit but thanks for watching washington up next